Since winning the election, Justin Trudeau has intentionally stayed out of the national spotlight and put the focus on the work. But now he's accidentally back in the global spotlight just as Parliament gets back to work. Justin Trudeau's poor judgment, lack of professionalism and love of drama continues to weaken Canada's position on the world stage. Hot mic or no hot mic, the Conservatives were unlikely to support the upcoming throne speech. With Andrew Scheer fighting to keep his job, Scheer won't help Trudeau do his. And when the Prime Minister of this country puts his agenda ahead of the good of all Canadians, he will indeed find himself opposed. So in a parliament that will rely on cooperation, the Liberal throne speech will need to appeal to other parties. And so he can't take us for granted. Uh, we are more than willing to work together, but we will not vote for something that doesn't align with what Canadians need. Uh, we'll be looking for some answers to questions which have been raised by the Prime Minister of Quebec, mostly about transfer uh, for health care. Liberal sources believe the throne speech will give those other parties something to vote for. It will focus on cooperation in a minority parliament and strengthening national unity. The throne speech will also promise a progressive policy agenda that includes action on fighting climate change and on issues like gun control to help make communities safer. There will also be a promise to help the middle class, including legislation to cut taxes that will be tabled in Parliament next week. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.